exercise is one of those other uh, outlet, if you will, where if you have energy that you need to account for, exercise is going to be a wonderful way to do it. Um, I I often don't focus so much on ins uh, on exercise because I don't want to convey to people that it can outdo the diet. There there was a paper published in Women where they looked at a very structured and intense exercise program with just it was I think it was just low carb diet and the low carb diet had better metabolic improvements than the strength training did. And so diet is going to generally smart smartly done diet. So changing nutrition is going to yield better long term benefits with metabolic health. However, the exercise I'm an enormous advocate of exercise. Uh, and to me, you are not going to go it's one thing to be metabolically healthy and lean but then it's something else to be lean and sick or, or 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 weak or frail and that's where to me the exercise comes in so my my view is you eat smart to be lean and metabolically sound you exercise to be strong and capable and metabolically sound so muscle of course is the great glucose consumer when if someone's wearing their cgm and they see the glucose come up and down, 80% of that coming down is what's going in to fuel the muscle. The muscle is just by mass so big and so hungry that the more muscle you have, the more you're going to have this big buffer or what we're calling wiggle room, where you're going to clear, uh, you're going to clear that glucose much, much faster. 